Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it's time for a letter from a fan. Got a few good ones this week, so I thought I would read them to you. Let's go! This one's from Ruben. Uh, Ruben asks, he asks, Dear Mr. Fantano, I am almost certain you won't read this given the size of your audience, but I'm sending it anyway. Oh, well, I am reading it. What a lucky little boy. I recently have been finding that my enjoyment of music has been dwindling significantly, I think, because of the amount I am consuming now that I have the time I am away from school. Bands I love like Primus, Death Grips, and Fugazi have just kind of become meaningless noise that really evokes no kind of emotional response from me. I was wondering whether, considering the amount of music you have to listen to for your job, have you ever experienced anything like this? And if you uh, know of any way of dealing with it, cheers. Okay, Ruben, good question. Good question. I, I think what Ruben is essentially asking me here is, do I get burnt out on music? Do, do I get burnt out on listening to music? Do I get burnt out on on uh, bands and albums that I like and so on and so forth? And um, I, I guess short answer, yes. Long answer, it's complicated. Like, do, do I get burnt out on music in general? Usually no, but um, over the years that I've been doing the needle drop, I have kind of, I guess, gotten used to not only the workload of what I have to do, but I have gotten a, a much firmer grasp of the whole work work life balance thing. So I do make sure to give myself time to kind of take a break from what I'm doing and just uh, enjoy other things like exercise and my family life and, you know, movies and playing music myself or like reading and video game stuff and my friends. So, you know, it's, it's good to have kind of time away from work. Just like all of you guys like to not be working all the time. It's, it's good for me to not be working all the time too. Um, so with that, I, find that it very rarely do I feel like I'm, I'm burnt out on music in general. So <clears throat> burnt out in general, not really usually a thing for me at this point. Um, but again, I, I think, a part of the reason that I've been able to maintain that is because of that balance and is because of that reminder to myself to get out there and do other things and start moving my body and just do other activities, you know, or do other activities while, doing music and, and that sort of thing. That, that's kind of the beauty of music. It's a uh, something you can carry with you almost everywhere these days. And uh, you don't just have to sit down and listen to an album and only listen to an album. You could listen to music while cooking or any number of things. So uh, there is that. But I, I do tend to even still to this day get burnt out on certain artists or certain genres if I have to listen to them again and again and again and again and again. But um I find that to be avoidable if I just continue to uh, uh, break up my listening habits and, and just make sure I'm reviewing and covering a, a variety of things, you know, and, and I get that I'm not uh, maybe covering every single genre of music out there every single week. And I do tend to kind of circle around my typical uh, uh, genres of rock and pop and hip hop and, you know, a few metal and electronic releases here and there, maybe a jazz one every once in a while, you know, it, it could be wider, but you know, so I, I have found that that is enough of me breaking it up to the point where I'm not really getting sick of one artist or one particular genre, uh, any given week or any given month. So, I guess my two recommendations here, if you really want to do uh, avoid burnout is, you know, just make sure you're doing or indulging in things outside of music. And this is true for just about everything. You know, you shouldn't be listening to music or sort of focusing super hard on music all the time, just like you shouldn't be fucking playing video games all the time, just like you shouldn't be spending all your time indoors, just like you shouldn't be, I don't know, spending all your time alone or all your time just socializing and just hanging out in a group, you know, you should have private time, you should have time with others, you should be doing a variety of things because variety is the spice of life. And uh, as, as far as not burning out in any sort of genre of music in general, the, the answer for that I found is also variety. If you're tired of the bands that 
you typically listen to or your favorite bands. And, and listen, I have, I have lots of quote unquote favorite bands who these days I, I rarely listen to because I've, I've heard my favorite albums from them so many fucking times. It's just like looking at the back of my hand. And I still think they're amazing al- albums and I still think they're amazing artists, but there's only so much I think you can get out of an album once you've <laughs> pretty much like committed every note of it to memory in a way. I, I feel like giving yourself a little bit of a, a distance there with uh, those artists and with those albums, uh, once you return to it, it, it does kind of create uh, some freshness and and that is good. It was a time when one of my favorite bands, Dead Kennedys, I probably would rarely ever listen to them. And even these days, uh, probably not as much as I used to. But uh, but again, that that distance does create a situation that when I do return to albums like Plastic Surgery Disasters, I'm like, whoa, fuck, you know, I forgot about this part or, you know, this is so fresh. This is so great. So again, a little bit of distance with some of your favorite records and some of your favorite artists and and variety, you know, try other genres of music that you're not that familiar with because Ruben, most likely you don't listen to everything. So Try out some genres of music. Try out some stuff that you, you're not that well familiar with. You know, do you not listen to that much IDM? Listen to that. Do you not listen to a whole lot of Latin jazz? Listen to that. Do you not listen to a whole lot of, you know, classic progressive rock or classic doom metal? Or do you not listen to a whole lot of jazz rap? Or do you not listen to, um, I don't know, a, a whole lot of Baroque pop? You know, if you don't, then... Uh, uh, look those genres up. Hit a hit a rate your music page or something like that, and uh, try to get some recommendations of stuff that are outside of of your usual comfort zone of taste. And uh, I I think you may find that um, it may make the stuff that you typically listen to a bit more fresh and interesting uh, once you've kind of clen- cleansed your palate in a sense with some styles of music that you don't typically listen to. So I'm going to leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another letter from a fan video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. And uh, Ruben, thank you very much for writing in. Anthony Fantana, letter from a fan forever.